Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the lead from the song Kids on Stranger Things. It sounds like this. All right, so let's get into this. First of all, let's turn off our effects so we can just kind of focus in on what the sound's doing and the LFOs and the envelopes and all that stuff. So first thing, we have two saw waves, both the, the init regular saw wave. They're both up two octaves here, so 24, 24. A very important thing here is on the fine tune, I put one, uh, or the second one, up by two cents, and that really gives it that, uh, that kind of phasey, coursey kind of sound. So if I go back to zero, and then let's go to number two here. So it kind of has that definitely that little different type of sound to it. Hopefully you can hear that. Here's another uh, example. Here's zero zero. So just that little tiny bit of detune is really going to make this patch come alive. And then the next thing we have over here is just kind of important. I have the phase at zero here and zero phase randomization because I want these waveforms to start at the same time to really take the benefit of this little small detune right here. So that's a very crucial spot for uh, for this patch here. So next up we have the filter here and I went with the analog 12 dB. I kind of played around with the other ones but I felt this one was pretty close. And with this patch specifically, you really have to dial in the resonance. And I have this exactly 28.71% and I felt that this is the closest for this patch. And I'm also modulating that with the first LFO, just a, a little down saw right here. So it'll sound like this. And then the cutoff is at 498.1 Hertz. And then the LFO is 33.66. And without the filter, it's a little too much. And that resonance booster really helps out. So for example, what is this at here? Enter value. So that's 28.71. So let's do like 100. So that's kind of the effect that it's doing. So let's set that back to 28.71. And that's pretty much it for this page right here. The uh, the next stuff comes out later here in the effects. So for the effects, I have a filter here that's basically cutting off the other end, the low end of the sound, because I didn't want the, uh, the low end there, because with the filter off... Because if you listen to the original song, a lot of that low end isn't really there, so I had to cut a lot of that off. And I could have routed this to the next filter, but I felt, uh, I don't know why, I just kind of just did it here, because maybe I'm just looking at all my stuff here, I felt it was easier that way. I did the analog 12 dB, so the main one again, so same filter as I used over here. And the cutoff is, let's see what it is, 1017 hertz, 0.31 if you want to get that exact. And then with the resonance, I didn't really play with that at all, this is mainly just to cut off that low end there. And before we get too far, since I'm looking over here at the envelope, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, if you want the exact values, the attack's 0.015, DK is 0.548, sustain 0.723, and the release is going to be 0.623. So there's just a little bit of release there to kind of fill it up so it's not so abrupt as an end. And then the next, I put on a little bit of chorus. So really to kind of enhance the effect we did over here by detuning the second oscillator by just a little bit. And then this, I did 12 voices as opposed to, I think it's like 16 is default. I think 12 sounded the best for this patch. 4-1, which is, I think, default as well. And then I did mess with these knobs um, just by ear. So if you want the exact values, feedback 40%, mix 21.98, spreads 1, cutoff 60, delay 2, 7.812 milliseconds, delay 1, 2.331 milliseconds, and the depth is 50%. Now I'm going to skip over for the EQ just real quick. We're going to talk about that after the reverb because this, I did a little specific thing here that I kind of want to talk about at the end. So we turn on the reverb here and I did mess with some of the settings here to make it a little bit bigger.
because there's actually quite a lot of reverb in the original it seems like the room that is simulating is actually quite large so exact values low cut 40 which uh, doesn't really matter too much because we're cutting up a lot here with this filter anyway the high cut's going to be 1107 hertz cut off here 8.175 course amount zero delay zero i put the mix at 62.13 percent the gain is at uh, i guess zero db so no change really 0.250 hertz for the uh course frequency the size i brought up to 69.54 and then time 3.671 seconds so if you want the exact values And then one thing I feel like I noticed on the original is kind of towards the end of the notes, it almost sounded like the high end frequencies were kind of being pushed a little bit. So I brought in this EQ and I brought the second LFO going upwards and I basically modulated the, uh, the uh, oh, you'll see here. See how this is going up here on the gain? Because it sounded to me towards the end, the higher frequency started getting boosted a little bit, and it almost sounded like a modulation to me. It might not be, but that's what my ears heard, and that's what I redid here. And it seems like it sounds pretty close to the original. And this EQ, the reverb, and the chorus, more or less, are kind of just little added flavors to this patch. The real crucial things to really pay attention to is obviously your envelope. That's really with any sound. But really, it's going to be this small little change right here that we looked at at the beginning. This little detune by two cents on the, on the second saw wave oscillator is really going to give that analog sound. Because back when the oscillators weren't exactly tuned 100% digitally correctly. So that's why a lot of the analog patches sound like that. So a slight, slight detune, even one cent or two cents, can really change it. So... And the next up is going to be obviously that filter is going to be very crucial with that little resonance boost to kind of give you that twanginess as it's going down through the notes and then just fiddle with the cutoff and kind of just see where the uh where the original sounds where it cuts off and where you might want to put your filter i did spend a little bit of time modulating the first lfo to see how far it was and how far it got and i believe it sounds pretty close um if you haven't heard the original go check it out and see how close i got i think i got pretty close to it and yeah that's basically it for this patch so Hopefully you recreate it and make another cool song with this patch. So here's what it sounds like again. I really hope I don't get another copyright strike.